Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to get started decorating for Christmas. I am decorating a little bit early because my son's first birthday party is this weekend and it's a one happy camper a camping type vibe. So I figured that matched Christmas decor perfectly, the evergreen trees and the pine branches. I just said it was a perfect excuse to pull my Christmas decor out. So here we are. And my whole house is clean. I packed up fall. I'm just, it's a fresh slate and I'm so ready to start decorating. The kids and I have already done a Christmas craft. We made some salt dough ornament handprints for the grandparents and they turned out so precious. They were so easy to make and I wish I would have filmed it. Maybe I'll have to do a recap on that, but they were so easy. The kids love doing them and I know that our parents are gonna be so excited to get them this year. Um, they're just such a precious little thing that I used to do when I was a kid, make salt dough ornaments. So it's cool to do that with my kids. But anyways, we've got all our Christmas down from the attic. I have my vases and my baskets and just like all my empty vessels ready to go to fill up with Christmas. And this side of the house, the living room needs a little tidying up. I have Princess Ariel on the couch. Um, supervising all of my cleaning and decorating so she's going to be helping me today little brother is napping and i am just going to try and get as much done as i can while at least one of the kids naps and i honestly forget what i have every year um, i use a lot of natural pieces that i can stick in bases and baskets um, a lot of stuff that I feel like doesn't go out of style, so I'm able to use it year after year and I can rearrange it in so many different ways and create a whole different look every single year I decorate. So I'm turning on some Christmas music. You know you have to have the old Frank Sinatra Christmas music and I'm just going to get started. I saw this centerpiece idea on Pinterest and I wanted to recreate it so bad this year. So I went to the store and I bought a bag of apples. I think you would traditionally use red delicious apples because of the super rich red color, but this bag of gala apples was on sale. So I just grabbed that instead and it's red enough. And I'm gonna layer it in my wooden dough ball with some pine branches and gold berry stems just to create a really natural looking centerpiece for this table and the end product I'm just obsessed with. I love using um, natural elements like the red fruit, pomegranates. I really wanna decorate more with those because it just makes it feel super nostalgic, which I know is really traditional back in the day to actually decorate with like fruits and stuff like that. So I just love that whole look. Let me know down below your style of decorating. Does it change every year? Do you like just the traditional colors? I love seeing how people decorate their Christmas trees. Um, like all the different themes and colors. It's so it's so fun to me, but I play it safe and I usually just use red green and gold Another 
Throughout this video, you'll see me just keep swapping things in and out until I achieve the look that I'm really going for. I want to keep it pretty simple because like I said, we're having the birthday party this weekend and I definitely don't have all of my Christmas decor out. I just have most of my neutral pieces. So I'm just kind of playing around to achieve a simple look. And then after his party, I'm going to come back through and add some more things, rearrange, but I just keep swapping things out. Out until I achieve what I want it to look like and that is literally how I always decorate I never just go in and it's one and done like I swap so many things out I'm always indecisive so sometimes it really takes me a while but that is truly the fun in it For his party, this buffet area is going to be the drink bar, so we're going to have a hot cocoa bar, we're going to have a container of water as well as a container of apple cider, and then kids juices will probably be outside in a cooler where they're playing, but this is kind of going to be the drink bar, so I want to keep it super simple because I'm going to be adding things in just a couple days. So this super simple pine garland. I think looks so pretty and I can just kind of stack all the drinks on the table and it'll all blend in. I don't really have to move anything around. But um, after his party, I just keep thinking, holy cow, like it's about to be Thanksgiving, which I'm so excited for. We're hosting Thanksgiving this year and I love that. Um, but I, I just can't believe that Thanksgiving is around the corner. It just feels like summer just happened and here we are in the holiday season, but I love it so, so much. Let me know, are you guys looking for anything for Black Friday? Do you Black Friday shop? Growing up, me and my mom always went out on Black, Black Friday. Even if we weren't looking for anything, it was just like the thrill of going out and being with the crowds. And like now I kind of mind the crowds more than I did back then, but um, we have a few things on our Black Friday radar so I don't think we're gonna go out we might just keep an eye on online deals but let me know are you guys looking for anything in particular and do you go out or do you just online shop We love our throw blankets around here and we get our use out of them. So this season I wanted to pick up a few new ones and I went to Home Goods fully prepared to pay full price and I saw that they had a ton on sale for $10 and under. So I snagged two plaid ones that I know I could use for fall and Christmas and honestly probably all year round. I think the plaids match our home nicely. So I picked two new ones up and I know that they are just gonna be so cozy to cuddle up on the couch with some Christmas movies, which we have been watching since August, by the way, don't judge me, but we have already cycled through all of our Christmas movies and I'm not even mad about it. But our favorites I think are Frosty the Snowman and my daughter's favorite, she's on a huge Grinch kick this year. so. I'm loving all this. We bake cookies like every single night and then we just sit down and watch a movie before bed and it's so cozy and it just gets you in the holiday spirit.
I debated getting our tree down for this first round of decorating, but I figured since it was a camping theme birthday, like a woodsy camp theme, I figured the more trees the merrier. So I told myself I'm going to get it down from the attic, set it up, but I am not going to decorate it. We're not going to do ornaments until after the party. So I keep having to explain to my daughter, we're not going to do ornaments for a couple days, like just wait till the party, but I don't think she understands why. And, um, but anyways, I'm going to set up my tree, fluff it out, and I have had this tree for probably five years now. I got it off Facebook Marketplace, and it's held up so well. Um, this is the first year, actually, that the lights aren't working on it. It's a pre-lit tree, so I think next year I'm going, going to invest in a nicer one without the lights, but still fake because in Florida, the trees just die. Like, they're dead when you buy them, so... Next year, I think, will be the year that we get a new tree and say goodbye to this one. Also, I can't believe that just one year ago, almost the day, I was pregnant waiting for my son to be born. And now here he is, almost a year old, helping me, quote unquote, helping me try and decorate around the house. And I actually wanted to show you guys a pic of last year when Jovi and I were decorating the Christmas tree. I was pregnant and ready for Wilder to make his appearance and just three days after this video he was born so it's just crazy that now he's here and he's just so sweet and I can't believe he's almost a year old but now I have two little elves helping me around the house so anyways my one tip for you is don't buy a Christmas tree skirt I every single year use just a blanket you could use a comforter a throw blanket um, or even a sheet really and I just layer that in and I think it looks so cozy I don't think I'll ever buy a Christmas tree skirt again Another reason that I could not wait to decorate for Christmas was that I got this sign through Tailored Canvases and it is a completely customizable site for different canvas pieces. This one's a 16 by 48. It's huge, but it's super lightweight because it's canvas, even though it looks like tin like antique tin which i love that's what drew me to this piece but on their website you can literally pick from so many different signs and you can completely customize it with like your last name or a special date literally anything you want to customize on a sign they will do and it is so high quality i just i i was obsessed with this one i didn't change a single thing i just wanted it as is and another thing that I love about their signs is that it already comes with hooks attached to it. I don't have to make my own hooks or try and make it all level. It already comes with hook attachments, so that was a win for me. I just needed to figure out where my nails were going in the wall and hang my sign up, which was so easy. I love this statement piece in the kitchen. I also think it's going to look really cool with Wilder's birthday camping theme. So I'm excited to have this up all season long, but I'm going to leave their website link down below as well as a discount code that I have for you. Just use crossin 15 to get a discount on any signs on their website that you want. Also, these would be amazing Christmas gifts. It doesn't even have to be a Christmas sign. You can get like a farmhouse sign or a lake house sign or just there's so many different choices you guys just have to go check them out because i'm definitely probably going to be ordering one of these for my parents they live on a farm and i think it would be so cool to get a customized canvas for their farmhouse why your joyous strains prolong What the gladsome tidings be Which inspire your helpless song Gloria In excelsis Deo Gloria In excelsis Deo
I have the hardest time decorating above our cabinets. I don't know why. I just literally never know what to put up here. I have my collected pictures, like my ironstone pictures up here, but as far as decorating any other way, I am completely stumped. I just, I never know what to do. I never know if I want a lot up there or a little bit up there. Um, but they're just a challenge for me. We have pitch ceilings, so we have high walls pretty much everywhere, and it's just honestly really challenging to decorate. It's really fun, but if you have any ideas or if you have really high ceilings, let me know what you guys do above your cabinets because I'm always looking for new ideas. Thanks for tagging along with me today as I decorated for Christmas. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because I have plenty more Christmas videos coming out and I don't want you to miss it. I'm also going to be filming a decorate with me for Wilder's first one happy camper birthday party and I'm just so excited to see how that turns out. But I'll see you next time.